Hi, this is Krista with APS EdTech, and this is how to create classes in Bloxy, add students, and add co-teachers. There are two different ways to sign into Bloxy, and there are three different ways to create classes. How you would like to create your class is going to determine how you sign into Bloxy. The first way is to go to my.aps.edu or ClassLink and search for the Bloxy extension here inside of ClassLink. Fun fact about ClassLink, you can actually right click on an app and then add to favorites, which will add it at the bottom. You can actually search for it up here if you're not seeing Bloxy and you can even click and drag the location to put your most used apps up front. Once you click on it, it will log you in automatically to Bloxy with a Synergy ClassLink sync. The second way to log into Bloxy is to go to teacher.bloxy.net and click sign in with Google. It will not allow you to sign in with ClassLink from this page. Sign in with Google is the only option here. You have to allow it to connect to your account. And now you're in. I don't have ClassLink, so I can't show you this. But if you log in with ClassLink, you will see a ClassLink button here. I see my Google Classroom button. So if I want to import my classes from either ClassLink or Google Classroom, I'm going to click on this button that should exist right here to import classes. So it'll say either ClassLink or Classroom, but it works the same. Click on the button and then click on the classes that you would like to import. Then click OK. Once your class has been imported from Google Classroom, you can click this Sync Google Classroom button here and resync at any time. It is important if you're using Google Classroom to resync in Bloxy whenever you add or delete students. If this is a Synergy ClassLink synced class, you do not need to sync. Those syncs will happen nightly, so new students will be added the day after they join your class in general. The third way to create a class is to create by hand. If you're not using Google Classroom and you don't have students assigned to you in Synergy, this is your best option. Click on the blue Create Class button. Give your class a title. Set your duration. How long do you normally see these students? Pick a class color. Set a default policy. Most schools will be set to the default student policy. Then click Create Class. Now to add students to a hand-created class, click on the title of the class, click on Students. You can either import students with a CSV file. If you have a list of all your student email addresses from uh, Synergy or from a secretary, you can do that. You can also search for students by first name or last name or email address. Click the Search button. Then when you see the correct student, click the plus button. Keep adding students until you have all of the students in your roster or that you expect to see. Once you've added all of the students, they'll show up down here as little gray buttons. Click Add Students. Those student tiles are now down below. You can rearrange them as you see fit. You can actually rearrange tiles in a Google Classroom or Synergy Synced Classroom also. Lastly, you can also add co-teachers to any of the classes, either a Google Classroom, a Synergy ClassLink synced class, or a hand-created class. Inside any of the class tiles, go ahead and click the Teacher button. Search for the teacher by email address or name. Click the plus button to add your co-teacher. Again, it'll show up as a gray button down here. Then click Save. Co-teachers will see classes listed down here under your assigned classes. Co-teachers are, un are unable to start or stop sessions. Co-teachers are unable to chat. Co-teachers are unable to block. Co-teachers are only able to view an active session that the regular classroom teacher has started. So if you would like to add an EA, uh, an inclusion teacher, a uh, support teacher, go ahead and add them as a co-teacher. If the co-teacher needs to control the class or push out an assessment or chat, it would be a better idea for that co-teacher to start their own class and then hijack the students into their class when they need to see the students. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the playlist for more videos for how to use Bloxy.